Yep, that's me. And you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Well, it's pretty standard. Check this out. Music player in my chest. It's powering up my new robot arm. Whoa. It's making everything sync up with the beat. High Five Rush is the hack and slash developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda Softworks for Windows and the Xbox Series X. Originally, I was going to review Forspoken, but <laughs> luckily my computer wasn't even powerful enough to run that game. But as luck would have it, this game dropped out of nowhere on January 25th, and even though I finished it a while back, I still wanted to talk about it. So the game follows a wannabe rock star named Chai, who gets a robotic arm, gets wrapped up in a plot to take down a giant evil corporation, and makes some cool friends along the way. Well, the story does its job just fine, and I did enjoy the colorful characters that I met along the way, I have a feeling more people are going to be playing this for the gameplay instead. The gameplay is what really sets this game apart from other hack and slash games. Since Chai wants to be a musician, your combat goes to the beat of the music in the game. The more in sync you are with the rhythm, the more effective your attacks are. And let me tell you something, there is nothing more satisfying than stringing together a perfect combo to a kick-ass soundtrack. The original music for this game was composed by Sorichi Kobori, Ryo Oritani, and Masatoshi Yanagi. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I just murdered their names, but I just really wanted to give them a shout out. My only criticism with the gameplay is that it can sometimes feel a little repetitive, but the game does a good job at switching things up once in a while with some side-scroller sections. The art design and graphics for this game are phenomenal though. I just love the comic slash manga style that the characters have. I really want to see more comic book based games have this kind of style to it because it's really unique and sets a game apart. I think the reason that the reception for this game has been so positive is that it fills a void in the marketplace that has been severely lacking and that's AAA developers producing simple yet fun games. While we've been getting great indie games that fill that void, we've been getting so many games from big studios that are massive, overcomplicated, and often filled with some sort of microtransactions or live service model. Hi-Fi Rush feels like a game that would have come out during the PS2 era, but just better tuned. Pun very intended. And the best part? You can beat it in one weekend if you really want to. Took me a little over 10 hours to beat it. So I highly recommend Hi-Fi Rush. It's a fun yet simple game and something the Xbox has desperately needed for a while. Profession Rockstar. Hmm? Future Rockstar. So that's it for me guys, as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe to help us reach 100 subscribers, subscribe to our social media accounts, and remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching. Reporting live from the third planet, from the black hole, it's the astro, floating through the astral, plane I maintain, this wisdom, I'm the vassal, yeah. baby, I'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule, let my mind travel, through dimensions, check this pimping, I'm just trying to find a piece like all of Mark.